Hello everyone! So for a while I wanted to learn some new watercolor techniques and thanks to Skillshare I was able to learn some really cool ones. So this week I am painting a picture with watercolor paint. I am first inking my sketch with my Pigma Micron pen. As I am inking my sketch, I'll talk a little bit about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Now even though this video is sponsored, all thoughts and opinions are my own and I think Skillshare is awesome. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 15,000 classes in design, painting, photography, writing. There are so many different classes, it's awesome. <laughs> One of the things I love about the classes, especially the art related ones, is that they are real time and they are not sped up, at least for the ones I watched, which is not something you get a lot of on YouTube. You don't get a lot of real time videos on YouTube, so it's really cool to watch an artist um, draw in real time. What's also cool is that everyone can take a class, try a project, and you can even teach your own classes if you want, which is really cool. A premium membership is $10 a month for unlimited access to all of the classes. So you can try as many of the classes as you want, there is no limit. Uh, but with the promo code learn to draw manga, you'll get a two month free trial. So you'll be able to try Skillshare for two months for free and you can have access to all of the classes. Um, there's also a link in the description if you want to go to Skillshare. You can even download the mobile app on Android or iPhone and tap into classes even when you're offline. I have to say I've been really enjoying the Skillshare classes so I highly recommend you check it out. A class I really loved and that really helped me was Watercolor and Mixed Media by Anna Victoria Caldrian. I hope I said her name right. <laughs> she takes you step by step and shows all the materials she's using and I feel like it taught me a lot about watercolor and some new techniques I'll be using in this video. In the class she shows this really cool way to paint clouds so that was the inspiration for this picture. So yeah, I highly recommend you check out Skillshare and use that two month free trial. Uh, so now on to the painting. So for this picture, I have kind of a cloud elf character and I'm going to have the background be um, kind of a dark space. Um, kind of like outer spacey and I'm going to be adding stars. Um, so I start by using ultramarine blue and black for the background. I was really nervous while doing this. This was the most like nerve-wracking part because like I thought about buying masking fluid, but I'm kind of a cheapskate. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, well, I can probably paint the picture without masking fluid. If you don't know what masking fluid is, it basically protects like parts of the picture from the paint while you're painting and then you can take it off later. Um, but I don't have masking fluid, so I just kind of worked very carefully around the girl and tried to not paint her. There were a couple times where I accidentally splattered like blue on her and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, and I was trying to get the paint off, but thankfully nothing totally ruined her. <laughs> um, so for the background, I used um, black and ultramarine blue, which I'm not totally happy with. I did do some tests before doing this picture but for some reason when I was doing it on a larger scale in this picture the black dried very gray and I didn't really like how that looked so I'm going to be adding some more blue later to kind of cover up the gray. Um, here I am adding um, the, a gradient to the clouds. Uh, the clouds are really fun so first I start out by painting them a gradient of different colors I'm um, ranging from blue to like a pinky purple magenta color. So I just make the clouds a really bright gradient and they're going to look a little funny right now because this is kind of like the prepping stage. We're prepping the clouds to become more cloud looking. <laughs> so I start out by just painting them this really bright bold colors and I had a lot of fun with this part. I feel like that's one thing um, the class on Skillshare really helped me with is learning how to paint gradients because I wasn't totally sure how to go about painting gradients um, but I felt like the class really helped me get a better idea of how to paint a gradient uh, so that was really fun. Um, for the elf character I wanted to keep her very light. I was almost thinking maybe she's like a magical kind of being. I kept her very light in color 
Um, I didn't want her to be like the main feature. I wanted our eye to mostly go to the clouds. Um, by the way, I love these pink clouds. They are like my favorite clouds. I wish I would have added more pink clouds because I really like the pink ones. So I wish I would have added more pink clouds in like the upper part of the picture because I really love how bright the pink is. Um, but like I was saying, I'm trying to keep the elf character very light and like she is almost a cloud herself. At first I was having the clouds actually be her hair, like her hair was like cloud. But it didn't quite look right and it kept being kind of awkward looking. So I decided to just have her wear a cloud hat. <laughs> On here I'm adding more of the blue to make the background more blue and less gray. So here is the magical part. I am using white acrylic paint and I am going over the clouds and I am adding white to them. I just go over with my first pass and I'm just kind of trying to define the shape of the clouds, how I want the clouds to look. Um, so that is what I'm doing in this first stage and if my brush looks a little funny to you, that is because I am using an eyeshadow brush. <laughs> Uh, to do this technique, you needed a rounded tip brush, and out of all the brushes I have, I don't have any rounded tip ones. I did have one rounded tip one, but it was ginormous. It was like a huge brush, so I couldn't use that one. I'm like, oh no, I'll have to buy a brush, and like I said, I'm kind of a cheapskate. <laughs> um, so, but then I was like, oh, and old eyeshadow brush so I grabbed this and don't worry I'm not going to use this for makeup anymore. I have new eyeshadow brushes so I just grabbed this old one and I used it for painting and it worked really well. <laughs> um, so here I am going over the paint again. Um, I am whitening some areas and making some areas brighter than others because like when you look at light when it hits clouds some areas will be more bright and some areas won't be as bright. So I just decided to go over the clouds again and make them pop a little bit more. But yeah, going over the clouds with the white paint is so much fun. This was like my favorite part. I had a lot of fun with it. The one thing I don't like about the pink clouds is that they don't stand out as much. I did try to shade the elf girl a little bit so that we'd be able to tell the difference between her skin and the cloud. Um, but it didn't quite um, work because the clouds don't have enough contrast between the skin and the cloud part. So I feel like the pink clouds don't pop as much. But I still really like the pink color. <laughs> so here I'm adding the stars. I start by dabbing some white paint onto the paper with a paintbrush. And then I learned this technique in the class on Skillshare that if you dip the paintbrush into some paint and then hit it against your finger, um, like the vibration of the paintbrush hitting your finger will send the paint off or something like that. <laughs> but basically the paint like splatters onto the picture and after a while my finger started to hurt so I stopped doing that one. <laughs> and then I just like um, dipped my paintbrush into some paint and I used my finger to like flick the paint off. Um, now if you're going to do this, make sure you protect your the work area that you're working on. I got paint all over my table. My table was covered in paint. I was like, ooh, this is looking good. And then I looked up and I'm like, oh, I got paint all over the table. <laughs> um, so yeah, thankfully it all came off and I didn't ruin my parents' table. <laughs> Now I'm using some color pencil to darken up the girl a bit. I felt like she was maybe just a little bit too light. So I went in with some light blue colored pencils and I just darkened some shadows in some areas. And I feel like the clouds and the girl are almost kind of like two different styles. So I wanted to help make the girl look a little bit more dimensional with the shading. Because the clouds look like really dimensional and they like really pop. But the girl looked almost kind of flat. So I tried adding some more shading to her with color pencil and I felt like that helped a bit. So this video is almost done. Um, I really recommend you guys check out Skillshare if you want to. I had so much fun learning all these new techniques from the classes. I really enjoyed getting to learn more about watercolors. So I highly recommend you check out Skillshare and use that promo code learn to draw manga to get the two month free trial. I mean, why not? It's, it's free, so. 
you guys can check out the classes I checked out and it was really fun. Uh, so here's the finished picture. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I had so much fun with it. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!